back with another video today i will introduce with you guys like a gcam gcam like a whatever you guys can name it no problem which is by agc really thanks to the developer for that kind of thing and this is the version one you guys can see here on the home screen i have that gcam already installed on my redmi 7 and this gcam is for any devices you guys can try this on any android 13 android 12 12.1 devices you can easily use that gcam so let's get it started first of all let me show you the user interface of agc or leica gcam here on the top right corner you guys can see here is the leica watermark with watermark you guys can customize this watermark according to your choice and if you click on that watermark now it's disabled when you just click on that it will be uh, different in look that means color will be changed into yellow color or golden type you guys can see so let's get it started with some samples will be added in the uh, later part in the video and of course video samples are available 4k 30 fps working on redmi 7 and other devices too and i checked this on my poco x2 as well so this is really really very great thing and now let me show you the portrait things and every uh, features is perfectly working in that gcam and camera portion night side and video everything is working in the video section you guys will get uh, 4k 30 fps 60 fps option but redmi 7 is a low end device so it doesn't support 4k 60 fps it supports 4k 30 fps and full hd 60 fps 30 fps and auto frame rate option is available and if you want to load any config file then click on the load config file and of course you must uh, put your uh, XML files into the AGC 8.6 configs folder that means just go to your file manager and go to download section and make a folder named AGC 8.6 which will be automatically created on your um, device and just make a folder name configs now let me show you that thing which is just open your file manager and go to internal storage and go to download section and you will get that folder which is named as AGC 8.6 now inside of AGC 8.6 folder just create another folder which will be new folder and name it configs configs now save it and any config file which is really good just put inside that config section and then open your camera and go to settings and click here load config and it will be loaded so that's it and if you are using redmi 7 then follow my steps open it i already did all the settings and here is the uh, lens settings you guys can choose your lens if you have ideas then you guys can do that or leave it and then get back and here is the watermark section where you guys can select film time watermark and like a watermark and you guys can select watermark logo mi huawei and oneplus uh, all the uh, 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 devices names are here that means company names iq uh, jice or meizu lz whatever poco what you need you guys can select and custom watermark you guys can set your name here and then get back and then go to advanced settings and enable show dirty lens warning and sdr plus control and that one and then you guys can enable that things which is uh, called automatic night sight portrait shots when you are using portrait mode then automatically night sight will work if you want that thing of course make it by default you guys will get it 480p and set it to 1080p then go to final jpg you will get it 97 percent by default make it 100 and then get back uh, get down and prefix name you guys can set it to your name here you guys will get the agc name i tried this by taking photos but it doesn't change you will get it agc and here we have used google photos third party doesn't work so that's why I enable that google photos download google photos from play store and use it as a default uh, gallery application then just let everything just like this 
and can enable the golden ratio or whatever you need and enable the exposure if it is disabled and here is the device info you guys can check so these are the things you will get in that and another thing if you have another lenses like wide angles and macro and other things then click here you will get other options like wide angles and uh, my macro lens everything will be working fine and we have here the video section then we have the modes and panorama i tested working perfectly but photo spare is not working on redmi 7 but it can work on your device so don't worry about that so these are the things now let me show you some samples i have taken already so here is the night side and this is the like a watermark which is i already selected film time that means it's just like a film time and this is the night side photo detail level is really really great as redmi 7 doesn't have a good camera lens but still we have the best quality and that one also taken at night side this is the maximum zooming detail level is great now let me show you other things like uh, here and the color accuracy just awesome because uh, uh, the real life experience I saw in the real time and the camera capture exactly the same so color grading you got, if you need a real color grading then of course you don't need to uh, make it any saturated uh, XML config or don't need anything if you like the real colors then we have another photo and shadow white balance everything is just top notch and here you guys can see i have taken that this is a portrait shot and the blur effect is just awesome then we let me play the video now i am recording this video at the 4k 30 fps you guys can see the quality and yeah. Let me know in the comment section below how is the performance in 4K and let me show you. This is 4K 30 FPS and let me zoom. This is the zooming experience. After zooming, I'm getting this at 4K 30 FPS. So hope you guys understand the video quality and this is it. Now let me show you 1080p 30fps video. Hello guys, I am recording this video at 1080p and 60fps and after that I will show you guys uh, 4K 30fps. Which I already showed. So let's see. And uh, what's the performance? Hello guys. Hello guys. Uh, let me check that out of focus. I now let me show you some samples I have taken and that is another sample and these are the portrait shot just look at this which is just amazing and the wind is blowing so uh, if the wind was not uh, present there I could capture more more sharper photos and this is really amazing and detail level just awesome and if you have a good lens on your camera or on your device then of course you will get much better than me and these are the normal photo also also great just zoom it and detail level just just awesome so i can blindly recommend you guys to use this gcam just give it a try and here you guys can see i already set my custom watermark here and here is the mi logo and the lenses and everything used iso everything is here and you guys can see the flowers are just awesome and every single details here is the insect you guys can see it's also visible here and is another photo this is a portrait shot and the blur effect is just awesome and you guys can see in the side every single corner just are taken shadows and white balance everything is just perfect on not top notch and here is another normal shot i have taken so i can recommend you guys this gcam is just a next level gcam on awesome thing so you guys can 
try this on your device if you are not using any zcam right now so this is gonna be the best one and latest update so must give it a try as i like a zcam so thank you for watching